friends. I'm gonna go and get cleaned up a little bit. Just got done with my walk. I'm gonna give you a little uh, little tip um, about my walk this morning. I slept like dookie last night. Um, Jason has been sick all weekend, um, bless his heart, but he is awake a lot during the night, so it makes me not sleep very well. Um, also, on Sundays, I don't drink a lot of water. And so, I woke up this morning with a raging headache. And I was very tempted to just stay in bed. Just stay in bed, um, don't go for your walk. I was limited on time for my walk today, and I'll tell you that reason why um, in a second. But it was so easy. It would have been so easy for me to just stay home. Jason's sick. He can't even go to Costco with me today. He can't go where I'm going next. It would have been really easy to just take a chill pill and like stay in bed. Instead, I got up and I got dressed and I hurried and got on the trail. And the funny thing is, is I don't remember having that headache from the second I got out of my car. From the second I started walking, I don't remember, like I don't remember having a conscious thought, okay, I wonder when this headache is gonna go away. I literally didn't think about it because I didn't have the headache from the second I started walking. Or I, I don't know, I tuned it out, I had enough to drink in the car on the way over there, I don't know, you can't see me. Um, I don't know, but, uh, felt good. I did four miles and it was supposed to rain all morning. I think there was like a 45 minute window where it wasn't going to rain, but I was like, all right, well, I'll have time without rain and I'll have time with rain. Um, but I'm going to go. That's what I said yesterday when I looked at the weather and it has been sunny. You can see this. It's been sunny and 65 the whole time I've been walking. I took my jacket off after a mile. It felt so wonderful. The, the breeze was warm. It literally felt warm. It was not cold at all. So it felt great. So I'm very, very glad that I came on my walk this morning. I actually wish I had had more time to do another couple miles. But I have to take Abby to her post-op. We are 10 days post rhinoplasty surgery for her, her very last surgery and hopefully her little stints come out of her nose. And I don't know about the cast. I think maybe the cast gets to come off today, but I'm not positive. Um, I also will ask her if I can film the stints coming out of her nose, but I'm betting she's gonna say no to posting it. I might be able to like actually take a video of it, but just for like educational sake, but I don't know that she's gonna let me post even a close up of those little suckers battery day. We'll see. We'll see if she, <laughs> if we get any kind of a glimpse um, of the removal of those. Um, but I think she's really excited to have them come out. She has recovered extremely well. The doctor was not kidding in that this is an easy surgery to recover from. She has been at work. I think she worked like eight hours yesterday. She came home tired for sure, but like she's out back at school, she's doing homework. Um, so she's she's doing pretty good. You can't see me very well. But anyway, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna get cleaned up, showered, and she she's funny because it's become a tradition of ours to do um, a Chick-fil-A run on our way home from the hospital. And it's not exactly on the way home. Usually if I don't do the toll bridge, 520 toll bridge, then I have to backtrack to go to Chick-fil-A. Um, but it's become a tradition to go. But today, Abby actually has to work immediately following this appointment. And so when we were talking about that, um, I actually need to want, ask her if she wants to leave her car at work on our way to the appointment so that I can just drop her off at work, but we'll figure that out. And I and she was like, oh, but then we can't go to Chick-fil-A on our way home. I have to get, I have to go straight to work. And, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. Like, you won't have time. And she's like, then we're going before. We're gonna go before the appointment. And I was like, 
all right. But it meant that I had to stop walking. Like I had to get on the trail by 9 a.m. this morning. I had to be done and home by 11 a.m., which I have three minutes, you know, I have to like stay on track, on schedule, so that we can go to Chick-fil-A this morning. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat Chick-fil-A at 12 o'clock, um, but she definitely wants it. So, um, and given this is, I think she'll probably have one more post-op in probably a couple months if the stint and cast comes off. Um, he probably won't need to see her again for a while. Um, but then that's it. We won't be doing these trips over to the hospital. So I kind of want to give her one one last Chick-fil-A. Not that we're never going to go to Chick-fil-A again. It's just out of the way and this has just become our thing to go and do, which is kind of fun. We're all done. And and she said, right as they were done pulling him out, she's like, did you film it? And I was like, no, I don't film her. She's like, well, I wanted you to see, film I it. I wanted her. to see that. They, like, she wanted to see them. My friends wanted to see it too. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me that? I just thought you were gonna take a video. No, I still. No, I wouldn't do that. Yes, That's invasive. That. Well, I thought you were trying to take a or something. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're just like the stints that are up in the nose are like this long and they're, you know, yay wide and he just cuts the little incision that holds him in and then slides him out. It feels funny, huh? It feels like a big slug it coming does. out of your nose. Um, she got woozy after they took the cast off, um, which we didn't know the cast was coming off today, huh? Yeah. Um, so they took the cast off first and then she's like, oh, I gotta sit down. And well, they, she was getting pictures taken. Oh, they didn't. I guess they did finish the pictures. She took two of the photos she needed. She didn't finish them. Though. I oh. just maybe we needed to stay in there. I don't know. Um, but she Still had to lay down and get some juice and crackers. Yeah. They actually wanted her to do the. Well, they offered the flu shot that they forgot to do during surgery. And after she needed to lay down, what three times? After all that, I was like, yeah, let's not do the flu shot today. <laughs> let's not do that today. Um, so, she's all done. Um, we don't have to come back for three months. Um, and that's just a, you know, just to make sure the swelling is going down. But it does take like an hour, an hour. It takes about a year um, for the swelling to come all the way down. Do you want to show your nose or no? Sure. It doesn't look good right now. I mean, it's still swollen on the tip. It's like... Yeah. But it's like yeah. so different. Yeah, the side... Oh, I too far. Yeah, like that. Yeah. So she used to have a bump Yeah. on the top. The tip is very swollen still. Yeah, it's very swollen. So that will be different. And the tip is... He did bring really... the tip up. Oh yeah, it went up. It also went up with the jaw surgery too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, the swelling takes a long time to come down all the way. And, um, but that's okay. Yeah. It'll just be over time, so. They said I could tape my nose if I wanted to. But I don't know. Oh, man, did we leave too early? I don't know, they said we were good to go. Yeah, she was gonna tape it. Was it just like the tapes that you have? I don't know. We can text him. Right? Yeah, I'll put it on the my chart. I'll ask him. Um, I don't know. So, but we technically don't need to do anything else. So we just left. <laughs> All right, let's go home. All right, just dropped Abby at work. <sighs> um, she shocked me just as much as she shocked you guys. 
getting on camera. Um, and it really, truly, and she's swollen. Her nose is swollen. But it, it really says something to um, the closure she has on this whole process to be comfortable on camera with you guys. Um, I'm just so proud of her for all the pain she's had to go through. It feels so good to be done. <laughs> It feels, so, and I'm sure it feels so good to her the whole way home. She's like, Mom, I can breathe. I can breathe. It feels so good to breathe. I mean, I can't even count how many times she said it. And there's lots of boogers in there. <laughs> she was pulling up boogers the whole way home. There's a whole stack of tissues on the floor with how much she was pulling out of her nose. Um, so proud of her. She's so happy. Like, she's so happy to be done. Like, she was so excited to go to work. She is going to tell her manager, I almost passed out today in the doctor's office, so can you keep an eye on me today? <laughs> um, so, uh, and she's doing a, a special event tonight for work, and so um, it was, she really is looking forward to doing it. Um, so... I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy she's done with all of this. I'm so annoyed. It's three o'clock. I just got home. I haven't eaten my food because it was too hard to eat and drive to Seattle at the same time, which is fine. I am hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten, um, but I haven't gone to Costco. I, I did give up going to Costco before this appointment and went walking instead, which I'm glad I did because it's now raining. So it's fine. It was a good choice. I just thought I was done for the day. And I had to go to Costco alone because Jason's still sick and needs to reserve all of his energy for work tomorrow. Hopefully he can go to work tomorrow. <sighs> going in the afternoon sucks. It's a totally different, like, busy at Costco in the afternoon. I'd much prefer getting there when they open. I'm kind of annoyed. All right, the only thing different about today's trip to Costco was the price of raspberries. They were super cheap, $3.99 as opposed to like $6.99. And then I got deodorant. I got a different kind because it was cheaper. And mac and cheese. Chelsea wanted that for dinner. I'm not going to do it tonight because I already have lasagna left over. And milks now come in individual packs. That was very strange to see. I also have one Christmas present and I can't show you what that is. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.